Hello again, YouTube. My name is Brie, and in today's video, I am finally recording some of these portrait studies I've been working on. Um, I'm showing where what I've done so far, so you can see how this challenge is going at the current point. And I've only completed, well, eight now, six are completed from when I started filming this. Um, and my goal, if you're new here, is to paint 50 different portraits, or in some cases I get a little too excited and paint a little bit more than a portrait, over the next, I don't know, my original goal was like, I was thinking I could finish this in three months, that's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I want to paint people of different skin tones, of different ethnicities, um, just starting to practice painting people who aren't white, because I do entirely too much of that, and I really want to be able to have an internal library of basically how to paint people from different cultures because yeah diversity is good and eventually i'll get to body diversity as well all in the long-term plan i only have so much free time and it's very limited of late i um start this one by messing it up completely and putting a big wash of this very vibrant color down which was not in the original plan um Basically, I was working in gouache up to like five minutes before starting this video and completely failed to context switch. But that's okay. Um, there's, I plan to do maybe 10 of them in gouache long term, and then the rest I was planning to do watercolor. Um, but I worked in some white gouache here. I thought about switching the gouache completely, but I wasn't really feeling it, so I just used white gouache. The lights were natural lights. Skylight is typically a little cool tinted, so gouache, white gouache is a little cool tinted. It's perfect. It works out. It's fine. I'm actually really happy with how this one came out in the long run because, like I said, I didn't say this yet. I am really out of it. Um, I'm not spending that much time on these two today. If you saw last week, um, I, I've, I've basically failed to film two of these so far. Um, I tried twice to have a video in the sketchbook of these portrait studies. The first being one on the prior page where I forgot to clear my memory card so it cut off filming after like six minutes. And the second is the guy on this page and I was really happy with it, spent some good time on it, really loved how that one came together, and then realized that the settings on my camera were all wrong and it looked super snowy because I'd been doing some outdoor photography at night and had my ISO settings all very, very, very different. So... I mean, I, I think it wasn't, I, the white balance was off too. It was, it was bad. <laughs> Lesson learned. So yeah, it's okay. Third time's a charm. And the white gouache saves the day. Because <laughs> for a moment there, I'm like, oh no, time to start over. Nope, we could fix this. So yeah, my goal o overall will be to paint 50 different portraits or more. In this case, I really like the way the light was reflecting off the skin of her back, um, and that very much will help me work towards both my goals of doing better lighting and to, you know, practice painting different skin tones, so I had to include it. If you're interested in seeing the originals and seeing how much of a likeness I didn't capture or painting them yourself, I'm going to include links down below, and if you do give these a go, I would love to see them. So if you want to tag me on Instagram or something, that would be awesome. Um, go ahead, show me up or do something completely different. You do you. Um, I feel personally that studying like photorealistically is not something like I can spend so many hours trying to create something that's so much more detailed, so much more like the photo, or I could spend less time and just try to do something that's more in my style. And I feel this is what helps me learn better because, you know, you can always go back and study things again later and do it in your style however it grows in the future. But right now, if I paint in a way that's more like how I currently work, it helps me internalize it a bit better and repeat it later without the reference if I need to. Not that I would create this just like this without a reference, but if I wanted to create characters who had different skin tones with different facial features, this is all just really good practice to help me do that later without needing to rely on photos. So that's kind of my long-term goal here. I am mostly using the website Pexels. I know a lot of people use Pinterest, but I really... As great as Pinterest is in giving you a ton of photos that really can be very inspirational, I feel really 
dirty <laughs> using Pinterest because people do not credit the original artist or the original photographers. And I'm sure a huge majority of those photos are not meant to be used freely. Um, they, the photographers are artists just like any other artist. And just because something goes on the internet does not mean it was meant for everybody else to use. So I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying to use Pexels and so far it's been working out really well for me. Um, this part right here where I'm adding the green and the skin tone, this was one of the things that really drew me to this image, all the reflected light in the environment, but I knew I was going to be a little timid to add it in because green on skin is a little scary, but I think it worked out really well and that made me super happy. Um, so yeah, if you have other sites you like, I know there's a bunch of royalty-free image websites and I know some of them are probably better than others for finding good reference images. Pexels is really the only one I've used so far, but let me know if you have a favorite and I'll check it out. But yeah, I just feel much better using it because I know I'm not like using someone's image without any authorization, which just feels wrong. <laughs> but if you use Pinterest, I get it. It's, it's a great resource. It's just questionable <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, so... I don't remember if I mentioned it, but I'm using my Roman Schmal palette. It is becoming a fast favorite of mine. It's just, I don't know if it's just the size of the pans or the colors are really inspiring to me or just because I have it out and that's enough right now, but I'm really loving using it. I've been using it a ton. I do know that the paint tends to go down faster. So hopefully it still lasts a really long time. I mean, they're full pans. It should last ages, but I just feel like I'm going through the paint way faster than I normally would. Surprise, Juno hasn't come in yet and started singing her song. But, um, yeah, really enjoying these paints. Definitely need to switch it up at some point so I don't get uncomfortable with my other palettes. But right now, I'm having a lot of fun with those and a lot of fun with these little paintings. Um, the other one, the second painting that I do, I just really want to finish the page, but it's very sketchy, very quick, and yeah, it's it less refined than some of the others on this page, so just a heads up. But yeah, just get my practice in, my brush mileage, and having fun with it, so I can't complain. I not gonna complain too much about work, um, but I have been really busy lately, but I'm just pointing this out because I'm really hoping, really hoping I'm gonna get some time to decompress soon. Um, it's the, the crunch period is coming to an end and I'm very excited about that because it has been a long time coming and things have just been going hard for too long. <laughs> I'm exhausted. So yeah, like I worked all last weekend too. It's just been pretty nonstop, but yeah, then I should have more time to paint and practice and do new things. So I'm very excited because I feel super, super behind on the things I wanted to accomplish already this year and should have some time soon. I love those greens so much. Ah, I'm very excited. Very happy to have finished this page. I like this page a lot. But um, otherwise, yeah, not much going on. I'm very boring lately. I started rewatching Malcolm in the Middle as just because I've been really exhausted and I just kind of collapsed. I normally don't watch a lot of TV, but yeah, no energy. So TV has been it, just relaxing, <laughs> which means I actually, I have been painting some of these while watching TV. So I haven't, I have been painting more recently than I had in a while, but uh, Malcolm in the Middle has just been, hadn't watched that in a really long time. And Still can't believe Hal and Heisenberg are the same actor, <laughs> even though I've seen both shows before. Um, still need to finish Better Call Saul. I don't think they've put the final season on Netflix yet. Oh well. Probably have canceled Netflix by the time it comes out and I'll never see it. But yeah, not much else going on. Um, still reading. I started going to smaller books because I just don't have time for longer books right now. And I just finished um, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime this morning, and that was not at all what I expected it to be. I don't know what I expected. Obviously, someone's memoir when they grew up during apartheid is not going to be a happy story, but it was 
it was uh, a lot. <laughs> it was hard to read at times, but it was, I'm really glad I read that one. I planned to read it during Black History Month, but didn't really get started on it till right at the end of February. And now we're in Women's History Month, so I'm going to try to read something else. I'm trying to read more nonfiction and theming it to the month seems fitting. Um, so I don't know. I'm looking at a couple books at the library. Maybe, uh, is it Radon Girls, which is about the women who were painting like dials in factories with paint, um, that had radon and other chemicals. And they were, they were told to like tip the brushes with their mouth. So they were poisoning themselves. And then there's another book about women who were coding back in, I don't remember, was it World War II? So a couple books that intrigue me, I think maybe Raid on Girls was World War II, but I'm trying to read more nonfiction and not just fantasy. Uh, it's a little less escapism, but it's time to <laughs> read some more adult books, perhaps more educational material. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to force myself if I have to keep going into my escapism. That's okay too, but reading should be fun. <laughs> But yeah, um, with this these paints, I have to say, I'm really, in this particular one, I use the, I forget what it's called in Roman Schmal, but it's the PO48, and I absolutely love that for darker skin tones. It's such a pretty, earthy orange, and I'm so disappointed that that is, that pigment's going away, because of course now I'm getting hooked on it. I don't know why I bought it, knowing it was going away, but may have been a bad choice. I really like Queen Gold too, so that uses PO48. Very sad. <laughs> um, yeah, this, I definitely need to practice black hair more. Um, and this is just, like I said, this one was more sketchy. So I just did wet on wet wash, which is pretty lazy. And I definitely need to work, do another portrait where I detail it out more because black hair is really, really pretty and has such beautiful texture. And I'd love to learn to paint it much better. <laughs> so in the works or in the plans. Um, and I know this was not the most detailed hair. I mean, not that I paint a lot of very detailed hair. It's all pretty stylized, but I want to do better than this. So long-term plans, but yeah, otherwise that's really all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Like I said, tag me if you paint one of these and you'd like to share, no pressure, but otherwise, Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye.